transom mount, through-hole mount, in-hole mount. In this video, we will introduce some tips for installing an in-hole transducer on your boat. In-hole transducers are installed inside a boat hull against the bottom and send signals through the hull. It is not necessary to drill through the boat. It can be installed and serviced when the boat is in the water. It is not exposed to marine growth, and there is no drag. It will not be damaged when a boat is trailered. When properly installed, it provides great high-speed performance on both power and sailboats. It works with any engine types, including outboard, inboard, and inboard-outboard engines. But it can only be installed over a solid fiberglass hull. Metal, wood, and cord fiberglass hulls can cause too much signal loss when transmitting through the hull. Next, installation location. The location should be after the centerline so that the hole below the transducer is always in the water. Make sure the transducer beam will not be blocked by the keel or propeller shaft. Avoid mounting near or behind water intake, discharge openings, strakes, fittings, or hull irregularities. Before permanently mount the transducer, you should test your mounting location. First, place the transducer inside a thin plastic bag filled with water. Then, place the bag transducer at the mounting location on the hull. Check your chart plotter or fish finder to see if the transducer is working properly. Finally, measure the dead rise angle to select the transducer tank. The arrow should point towards the keel so that the sonar beam is vertical. Next, let's take a look at the installation location of some common types of boat. For displacement hull boat, mount at the middle of the boat and near the centerline on starboard side. For planing hull boat, mount at the back of the boat and near the centerline on starboard side. And be inboard to the first set of the lifting strakes. For outboard and inboard outboard engine, mount forward the engine. For inboard engine, mount ahead of the propeller and shaft. For stepped hull, mount just ahead of the first step. And that's the tutorial for in-hole transducers. In-hole transducers offer different frequency bands of chirp sonar. Watch our other videos to learn more. In the next video, we will introduce through-hole transducers. Thanks for watching.